Hi, Seth David here, and uh, last week we put up a video which I am not able to put on YouTube because of the format. We've started to uh, launch our interactive video tutorial uh, segment of our business, if you will. And I've been working on this for a while. I've done a lot of little sample quick tutorials on it and sent it out there to people on Twitter who are asking questions about how to do this in Excel or how to do that in QuickBooks or how to do something. A lot of people, for whatever reason, at one point were asking how to insert a spreadsheet into a PowerPoint presentation. And I did one doing that, but even in those sample tutorials, I didn't really offer the full extent, the full power of what I'm able to do with the interactive tutorials that I'm starting to create now. And what I mean by that is, in our most recent interactive tutorial that I've now put up on our QuickBooks blog, I'm able to actually invite you, and during the time of the tutorial, to come and click on things, to engage you, to actually participate in the process so that when you learn, you really learn, you're not just passively watching and, and listening to me instruct, you're actually engaged to go click on this or do that. And at the end of it, it'll actually ask you some questions to test how well you've picked up what you've learned. Just three questions that I put at the end for this first one because I just wanted to get it out there and kind of test it out and see what people thought. So if you go to our QuickBooks blog at www.quickbooksnerd.com, and of course I'll put the link below, um, you'll see that it's the first one there right now until I post something new this week. But the topic is the accountant's changes pending. The accountant's copy in QuickBooks is a way that enables us to work remotely with you. And I've got a full-length article in my QuickBooks blog on, on remote bookkeeping services, but I didn't even get into this yet because this is an area of QuickBooks that a lot of people, I think, don't really know about, don't really fully understand what it is or how it works. I've got a lot of people searching on my blog for things having to do with the accountant's copy lately, so I'm guessing that people are finally wanting to know, how can I use this? How can I use this to my benefit? And the answer is very simple. You can use it to split up your company file so that you can keep up the up to the day-to-day -day bookkeeping and send the accountant's copy to your accountant, somebody like me, who can work on the past. If there's cleanup needed or if you just want somebody to review and make sure everything looks okay and post any entries or at the end of the year, which we're coming up on now, you can have your accountant look at the uh, 2009 year while you're keeping 2010 current so that they can post their depreciation entries and any other year-end entries that are needed without interrupting your use of the file. And once the accountant's finished, he or she can send the accountant's changes back to you and you import those changes. There's about four different file formats involved in this, so it is a little bit involved, but once you see how it works, I think you'll agree it's not really complicated at all, it's just a few steps in the process. You have to create the accountant's copy, send it to your accountant, then you're going to get a message in QuickBooks that says accountant's change is pending, right in the title bar, right at the very top of QuickBooks as long as that accountant's copy is out there. Then the accountant gets the accountant's transfer copy, the accountant has to convert that to an accountant's working copy, make their changes, and then they export their changes to yet another version of the file, and that's the version that they then send back to you, which you have to import. You bring in the accountant's changes. Once you've done that, that message that says accountant's change is pending will go away. Now, the question that comes up, and it's one of the other questions that we answer in this tutorial, is what happens if I don't want to bring those accountants changes in? Or for that matter, I have no idea how that message got there. Maybe somebody else worked on your books and created an accountant copy at some point, and you know, next thing you know, you've got a copy of your file, which you believe is the full-fledged working copy, and it is, but it has that message up there, accountants changes pending. Well, there's a way to eliminate those changes. You can actually go in, it's about three clicks actually, that's, that's it, all of three clicks, and you can eliminate the accountants changes pending message, which means at the same time, you're eliminating your own ability to import those changes later on. So you have to be careful before you do it that it is in fact what you really want to do. So it is possible to eliminate that message. And the last piece that I don't actually cover in this tutorial, but it is covered at the bottom of this tutorial in our blog and also in its own separate tutorial, I've got it covered twice, is that if for some reason you needed to, the accountant can change the accountant's copy into a full-fledged working copy of QuickBooks. So I invite you, please, look below. I'm going to put the link down below this video. Click on the link and watch this interactive tutorial. Again, I can't put the tutorial itself on YouTube because the format YouTube wouldn't provide for you to be able to click on things the way it engages you. It runs in your Flash Player. It's completely web-based. Nothing downloads to your computer. Just go in there and watch the first section, and then it's going to review with you and invite you to click on the things that you need to click on in order to create the accountant's copy. And then, uh, well, that's pretty much it for that part. But you'll see, it's a great interactive tutorial. 
we give you the sample one there and then there's a full length tutorial that's also interactive which you can download in our learning center for only twenty five dollars and I guarantee you by the time you're done with this you're gonna know the accountants copy inside and out you're gonna know how to create it you're gonna know how to send it you're gonna know you're gonna be able to tell your accountant what to do in terms of converting it to a working copy making their changes sending it back to you and finally you're gonna know how to import those changes and of course if necessary you're going to know how to eliminate the, uh, the restriction should you want to not import the accountant's changes. So that's it. Have a great day. Have a great week and look for more great webcasts. Visit our QuickBooks blog at quickbooksnerd.com and go to the Excel blog at msxlguru.com. I'll see you on the web.